Good morning. On behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Nathan Foster, Commander 194th Mission Support Group, welcome to the 194th Logistics Readiness Squadron Assumption of Command Ceremony. I'm Lieutenant Jonathan Yee, and I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem, followed by the invocation. Chaplain Payne will now give the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bless us with leaders, leaders who have helped us meet success in the past and leaders who will help us meet the challenges of tomorrow. Today, we ask your blessings on this important moment in the history of the 194th Logistics Readiness Squadron and appreciate your calling a leader such as Major Matthew Harvey to command. May your wisdom and your insight continue to rest upon him as he accepts this guide on and steps into a command, a squadron that plays such a central role in our wing. May he, working with the strong core professionals the squadron is already blessed with, reach new heights as new challenges will unfold in the days to come. We also thank you on this day for his family, whose continued love and support are central to his success, and ask for your richness of your blessings to rest upon them. Again, Lord, we thank you for this day, and we humbly pray this all in your holy and your mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Payne. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, we would like to extend a special welcome to the family of Major Matthew Harvey, his wife Leah, his daughters Olivia and Tessa. Uh, you have flowers there. Uh, attending virtually is Major Harvey's mother, Diane, and sisters, Juliet and Lisa. We'd also like to recognize special guests here today, Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Price, Deputy Commander, 194th Mission Support Group, Chief Master Sergeant Stephen Nolan, Chief Enlisted Manager of the 194th Mission Support Group. Finally, we welcome all commanders, chiefs, first sergeants, coworkers, and friends who have taken time out of their day to share in this special occasion.
The assumption of command ceremony is deeply rooted in military tradition and dates back to the reign of King Frederick of Prussia. During this time, organizational flags were developed with color arrangements and symbols unique to each unit. When a new commander was to take over, the flag was given to the individual assuming command. This gesture was accomplished in front of the unit so all could see and witness their new leader assuming command. This symbolic tradition has survived through military history and will be a part of our ceremony today. Ladies and gentlemen, the presiding officer for today's ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel Nathan Foster. <clears throat> all right, good morning, everybody. Thank you for uh, attending. And I, I look at the camera and say thank you for all those out there virtually um, as we kind of move forward here. So Chaplain Payne, thank you very much for those words that could not be could not be truer. So um, I'd also like to thank the men and women of the LRS uh, who helped coordinate the assumption of command. And again, a big thanks to the Don who took time out of being at the headquarters to come over here and, and give us a hand. To Major Harvey's family who's watching virtually, thank you. You should be very proud of Matt on this very special day. Um, to Leah, Olivia, and Tess, I got to meet you guys quickly this morning. But uh, I know last month you were sitting across the globe in Tunis and then your dad gets the call, and next thing you know, he's here to assume command of the LRS in, in a very short period. Uh, I think your dad even said you've got personal belongings spread between Tunis and Washington State and all in between. So to you folks, I say thank you. Thank you for your dedication and support. And I say welcome. Welcome to Washington and welcome to the 194th family. Uh, for those that haven't had a chance to meet Major Harvey, let me just tell you a little bit about the major that we stole from active duty and who has taken over this fine unit. Matt is a fully qualified logistics readiness officer, an LRO, who has experience in his career field from around the world. Matt has honed his skills serving at Travis Air Force Base, Hanscom Air Force Base. I'll skip the part about the three years in Hawaii. Well, actually, I won't because then he got three years in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> After that, Matt jumped the ocean and took over, worked at the embassy in Tunis. Throw in there several deployments in which Matt was a graduated convoy commander conducting convoys across the continents of Africa, within the country of Afghanistan, you have a well-rounded LRO with an exceptional experience. While interviewing Major Harvey, I specifically remember him telling the board that he has always strived to find and tackle the toughest of challenges, the toughest of positions, and based on his background, I have no doubt he has accomplished this challenge for himself. We're lucky to have Major Harvey assuming command today, but even more so, Matt, you are lucky to be assuming command of the Airmen of Logistics Readiness Squadron. If it's a challenge you seek, look no farther. The 194th LRS is a unit that has been building itself and numerous processes for the wing. While building the squadron, the Airmen of the LRS are continually tasked to manage and deploy processes for our wing members, no matter what the mission or the location. Just in the last year, the Airmen of the LRS were responsible for deploying over 200 wing guardians who deployed to provide safety and security for both the inauguration and the civil unrest in Washington State. At that same time, the LRS managed to deploy over 100 warriors who deployed to locations across the globe to secure our nation's freedoms. Lastly, your future unit has been steadfast linchpin behind supporting over 300 wing members, wing heroes, who stepped up to provide support to our friends and neighbors here in Washington while we navigate through the COVID pandemic. They have accomplished all this while at the same time building a fairly new squadron and establishing wing, key wing programs in preparation for a major upcoming inspection. So to the members of the LRS, both present and virtually, let me just take a moment to give you a well-deserved thank you. You are a true representation of the Atlas, bearing the support of the wing and, or supporting the wing on each of your shoulders. Your professionalism, dedication, and pride in customer service does not go unnoticed, and I'm honored to serve with you each and every day. So Major Harvey, again, if it's a challenge you seek, then it is a challenge you will receive. Okay, the 194th is never slacking, and there is never a dull moment. Here in a minute, I'm gonna ask your wife, Leah, to pin the United States Air Force Commander's Badge on your uniform. I challenge you, Major Harvey, to accept this Commander's Badge with the knowledge that it's not just a device to simply symbolize your position, but rather a badge of honor, indicating that you have accepted the responsibility to manage, support, and lead this LRS squadron. 
With leadership comes mentorship. In the words of General George Patton, know what you know, but even more important, know what you don't know. I challenge you to lead, mentor, and support the members of the LRS, but to also be mentored by these outstanding airmen, NCOs, and CGOs you have within the LRS. I look forward to seeing where your leadership and the LRS team takes this squadron in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Foster. Now, please stand for the assumption of command. Potion order. Attention to order. Special Order GB21003, by direction of the President, Major Matthew C. Harvey is appointed Commander, 194th Logistics Readiness Squadron, Camp Murray, Washington, effective 1 March 2021. Signed, Kenneth A. Borchers, Colonel, uh, Commander, 194th Wing. Now I will read a command appointment letter by Colonel Borchers. To all who shall see the, these presents, greeting know ye, that reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Major Matthew C. Harvey, I do hereby appoint him commander, 194th Logistics Readiness Squadron, Camp Murray, Washington, effective the first day of March, 2021. He is therefore carefully and diligently to discharge the duties of commander by doing and performing all manner of things thereunto belonging. And I do strictly charge and require all officers, non-commissioned officers and airmen under his command to be obedient to his orders as commander. He is to observe and follow such orders and directions from time to time as he shall receive from me or his superior officers set over him according to rules and disciplines of war. Given under my hand at Camp Murray, Washington, this first day of March in the year of our Lord 2021, signed Kenneth A. Borchers, Colonel, uh, Commander, 194th Wing. Please be, <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Please be seated. Um, I'm going to escort them up. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 194th Logistics Readiness Squadron, Major Matthew Harvey. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lieutenant Gee. I know that last order is not easy to read, so uh, they never make it easy on the, on the, on the uh, speaker. Uh, to start, I would like to thank and acknowledge Master Sergeant Silverman for all of his help and support in organizing and executing this. Uh, Sergeant, Tech Sergeant Coppin, thank you very much. Sar Staff Sergeant Furby, Staff Sergeant Gillespie, Senior Airman Ford, and of course, again, Lieutenant Yee, thank you very much for organizing and ultimately stepping up to make this ceremony possible. Additionally, I'd like to thank Master Sergeant Chacon and Master Sergeant Smith for, their, for helping coordinate support outside of our squadron. For leadership and attendance, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Foster, thank you for your kind words, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Price, and Chief uh, Master Sergeant Nolan, thank you very much for your attendance here today. I'd like to thank you for your support and attendance. Uh, and of course, Lieutenant Colonel Payne, Chaplain, uh, thank you for your invocation. 
For my friends in attendance on the East and West Coasts, especially my previous team viewing this event on a Friday evening in Tunisia, I couldn't express my gratitude enough for all the years and support through thick and thin. To my mom and my dad, who is now with us in spirit, and my sisters, Julie and Lisa, we are physically separated again, but the tight bond our families have always enjoyed is something I will never take for granted. That love now guides me in my approach with my family. Last but certainly not least, to my amazing and crazy daughters, Olivia and Tessa, and my beautiful and loving wife, Leah, I'll always be eternally grateful for your never-ending love and support. Thank you. Not all of our paths follow a simple and straight line. In fact, most of us will experience some alter life-altering event or change in direction you weren't anticipating. As is the case with almost all service members, I wasn't able to anticipate my next assignment. I think we've all been there at some point. What I realize now, though, is that trying to accurately predict that future is less important in the grand scheme of life. What I believe is more important is attitude and preparation. And I couldn't feel more ready or be more honored that my life's path has led me to Camp Murray. I've had some amazing enlisted and officer leadership throughout the years. And what I've gleaned from those individuals is that your attitude and commitment towards any aspect in your life will always eventually bubble to the surface. So to that effect, I'm extremely proud to be standing in front of you all today, ready to take command. My challenge to my unit will be to feel that pride, follow that, and follow that passion, and serve with commitment and honor. The weight of command does not rest lightly on my shoulders, and I'm committed to giving all, my all in the 194th Logistics Readiness Squadron, well and faithfully serving the state of Washington, and above all else, the United States of America. Additionally, I get to serve the 194th as a Logistics Readiness Officer. Over the years, I've, had, I've seen a great deal of our allies weapon systems, and networks. I found a great appreciation for the monumental, pivotal, and foundational role logistics has always and will always play in our military success. To quote General Omar Bradley when analyzing the supply, transportation, and vehicle operations of the US and allied forces in World War II, he stated, amateurs talk strategy, professionals talk logistics. In conclusion, logistics is hard, but those who master it are successful. We do not succeed without the support of those closest to us, and I am dedicated to providing an environment for all those that support. I'm, I'm dedicated to providing an environment that will support those who support us. I would not be here without the love and support of my friends and family, so it is my charge to myself to treat my squadron as if it were my own family. We do not achieve our goals in solidarity, nor would it be worth it if we did. Thank you again for all in attendance today. Play hard, work hard, and stay safe. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the departure of the official party and remain standing for the Air Force song. And due to COVID, we ask that you not sing, but feel free to hum along. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Foster and Major Harvey, thank you for attending.